Hi, what's up, guys? So this is Kemoro. Uh, today, I'd like to show you how to implement the uh, OpenCV Android SDK 4.9 into your Android project, and just I'm gonna create a very simple app out of that. So, uh, so I'm here showing you the some how the app looks like. So basically, the, there is a two screens. One is on top, like showing the original videos uh, using the camera X. And underneath there is a process image. So basically it's showing like a, whatever it's moving or some pixel uh, modified, uh, it's gonna highlight uh, what it changed in the image, in the video. So let's do it. So I'm just create a new project and I just name it test open CV5. Um, and just uh, previous from the previous video, I just made sure that uh, to compile it uh, to to sync the project. First of all, you need the build configuration to be the Groovy DSL. DSL. Okay, so if you don't are uh, not sure about it and you're not that familiar, please go back to the previous video uh, how to import the, your Android SDK. Uh, this is basically. Um, uh, I assume that you already watched or you, you have an idea uh, how to import the Android SDK. So go here and then just standard the uh, tool chains and finish right. So when you create, as I did in the last video, uh, I need to import the module. So in here, I will import the 4.9. So in the previous video, I, I introduced 3.8 and 4.8. Uh, OpenCV. However, here I'm just using the latest one, 4.9 SDK, and then keep that as SDK. Okay, I will do the few modification on it. So, first of all, the Gradle application Gradle. So first, you need to import the module SDK. This one implementation project SDK, and then the second one is the camera X. Camera X version, I just said it like this. And next one, you need to go to the manifest under manifest to get the permission basically. Uh, the permission, I'm just taking the camera permission. You can just copy and paste. I, but by the way, I'm gonna put this all the code into the GitHub, so you can just copy and paste basically, no problem. And activity main, so right now it's showing the one strings. Uh, let's sync first. Whenever you change the build, build or grab file, just make sure you're syncing right. And then I go to the a uh, code and just make sure you copy and paste everything okay it's basically just using the very linear layout and showing the two images one is the camera view another is the image view okay main dot activity main activity dot kt logic you go here and just copy and paste okay I'm gonna briefly explain what it's doing so it's there is some permission taking for the cameras and the views it's views is basically this view and the on create is like put in a view right and if the camera permission is exists and start camera and doing the camera X things and then put the, the camera view and to just load the whatever the camera has and into your view. And this is the image analyzer. So this is I just keep as a kind of black box. Just change it to bitmap, uh, change your uh, matrix from the OpenCV and the bitmap and then just do some uh, process. And then just um, whatever is moving, it's just highlighted. That kind of things. Oh, here. Actually, I need to put the super, super cool, right? So, okay, that's it. 
it's pretty much it. So let's see if I can build this. Okay, I got some problem. What is? Oh, okay, this one. Inconsistent JVM target compatibility detected for tasks and compile debug chain. So, uh, so this one, if you got this, you go here project and go to SDK and build of Gradle. And here is uh, your application level build of Gradle. This is the SDK uh, build of Gradle, right? So you go here. Uh, yes, the compile option is like this. So if you look at it, the compile option is the same, but there is no Kotlin option, JVM target 1.8. So you add this and then sync to see what happens. Will be successful? Okay, let's see if it can build or not. Okay, nice build successful. So if you go to take a look, um, it just first it uh, asks you the permission for the cameras, and if you get give them a permission, it's successfully showing you the two screens as it's expected. So that's it for today. So that was pretty much it, like 4.9. Actually, I tried this with 4.8 and 3.4. Uh, that was not successful, honestly. So if um, if I can resolve that issue, maybe I will create another video for another version of OpenCV. However, right here I'm just using the latest version of Android Android Studio and OpenCV 4.9 SDK for Android. Yeah, so that's it. So thank you for watching. If you have any question and comment, um, please put it in the below. And this is kind of complicated stuff sometimes, like just some little bit like um, little bit annoying, honestly. Like to build this all those kind of stuff. But uh, if you can use it, it's gonna be super helpful. And probably next video uh, that. If I resolve that version issue, I probably am gonna put that as a new video. Or maybe the next one is basically this is all done in the main activity using SDK. However, I can also introduce you how to load the OpenCV in your C code. Which mean by that is uh, go to C and native lib. So in here you can call the OpenCV. So if you are familiar with writing the OpenCV in the C++, you can write whatever you want right here, and then you just load it into the main activity. So that's a little bit better approach sometimes, but there is some need configuration in the CMake list. So I'm gonna probably do that as well. So thank you for watching. So see you in the next video. Happy prototyping. Bye bye.